Hey, what is up guys? Today, me and my friend are going to be showing you how to get uh, four ghosts and find two secret locations in Destiny. And I'm just posting this before Taken King. So the first one, you want to go to the ruling house. And you want to go over to here the to the grottos. And essentially, you're going to want to jump down and like not follow the mission where you're supposed to go and jump down here. And it's here you're going to find... One of your ghosts right near the door, straight up. So right there, there's a ghost. Wait, right there, yep, there's a ghost. Over there, so that's one ghost. And then you can just make your way inside this building, explore a bit. It's got some pretty fancy lighting, which is kind of sick. Um, the music's pretty cool as well, when I, when I speed it up. But over here, where you actually enter a place called the mine, just before you enter it up there, there's going to be a ghost, so... In this, right where that grenade is, right there, that's where the ghost is. So, yeah, that's the second ghost, and this is one of the first areas you can explore that most people don't know about. And there's a kind of a really cool electricity place that we go to right here, and you can see it right now. I'm about to jump in it. There you are. Oh, just joking. There you are. Pretty cool. I don't know how they're gonna include this with the Take King or even if it's it might not even be included but the second one is just on patrol on Cosmodrome and uh, exactly the same place you want to get yourself here and look at that grenade through that's beautiful so you want to take yourself exactly to the same place so exactly where I'm going back to the grotto so I sped it up right now just so you can see it doesn't take so long so uh, for this one you have to actually do a sparrow glitch into a wall. It's kind of, a, I think it's a DLC area. I don't know if it's taking, but I know that it's hasn't been added properly yet. You'll see in a second why. Um, so you want to find enemies at the top of this hill, and if you go down here, you should find this kind of look, like rock-looking thing, and then you just simply do the sparrow glitch. You just go near the wall, look at it, summon your sparrow, boost in. I did it wrong the first time because you have to shift left. But, uh, yeah, if you do it again, um, just make sure you click LB or whatever it is on PlayStation to go to jump left on the sparrow, and that will get you there pretty easy. So, yep, yeah, right here, this rock, summon your sparrow in the wall, now boost and jump left. And you want to get out as well because, well, I just got out, you don't have to get out. But you're going to want to go to a loading screen down here. You want to keep following. Oh, it looks sick up there. But you want to just keep following down this path. Then it will start loading. There you go. And then everything should be like water. Looks really weird. The mine, same place as the other one before. So, um, for this glitch, it's kind of a glitch, um, you have to kind of get past this little invisible wall kind of thing. It's not that hard, you just have to jump, but over there where those two uh, pillars are, that's where it is. So, uh, when you're running over there, it should be about now, sometime soon, yeah, there you go. It, it's, there's going to be an invisible wall, so you just got to jump. That'll help you get over it pretty quickly. And then you want to run over here to this wall, to this kind of roof kind of looking thing. You want to jump down there. And uh, you want to have radiance on, because the first time I tried this, I actually got wrecked. I fell down and it had to revive me. Luckily, it doesn't make you reset from back on the normal Cosmodrome, it resets you back down here. So, yeah, equip radiance so you don't screw up and the jump will be easier unless you're really good and just in case you fall off radiance will help you a lot so you want to really really slowly try to land on the tip yeah here I see I'm getting so you want to land right in the middle of this kind of triangle looking structure on the top there you go easy peasy and you want to really slowly walk to the end of it and drop down and there you have it I think it should load uh, maybe not Yep, yeah, there you go. And then that's it. And then you want to find this hallway. It's a long hallway. It's not too hard to find. And you just go down to the end of it. And there's one of your first ghosts. 
And for the second one, you're going to find this very open area. Yeah, most of these areas aren't very too hard to find if you just walk around. And you'll find this big glass, like, ramp kind of view thing. I don't know how to explain it. And you just easily run up it. Not that hard. And right at the top here, if you can get up, there's a dead ghost. And that's a, the fourth one. So, two new, um, one, two secret places on Cosmodrome. And, yeah, there you are. So thanks for watching guys.